What is up, guys? I have a very special I Like Collectibles today. Today, I present to you Crime Suspense Stories 22. I actually just got this one in on trade, and I wanted to do a quick overview of what this issue is all about. When I initially started my journey into EC Comics, I was originally drawn to Tales from the Crypt books. This is due to my love for the 1980s, 1990s television series, Tales from the Crypt. I remember very vividly watching this show secretly as a child. That's right, secretly. My mom would not let me watch it, so I had to sneak over to a friend's house that had HBO and we'd watch it there. So I was ecstatic when I learned that Tales from the Crypt was actually a 1950s comic book. I slowly began buying all the issues, wondering to myself, why did they ever stop making these? That's about the time that I started looking into the Senate hearings. I realized pretty quickly why the pre-code industry was shut down. While looking into the Senate hearings, I realized there was one book that was mentioned multiple times, Crime Suspense Stories 22. At that time, I decided that I wanted this book, but the price tag was always something that turned me off. When I first got back into casual collecting, you could find the Tales from the Crypt books for $25, $30. This one, however, was a couple hundred. Johnny Craig, alongside Wally Wood, are my two favorite EC artists. Craig, who illustrated this book, has a very unique artistic style that I really do enjoy. He's an underrated Golden Age illustrator in my mind. I hold here a CGC 2.0 with off-white pages. A book like this recently sold for $1,900. About 12 calendar months ago, this same book was selling for around 17. That's more than a 10% increase in 12 months. Not quite the number that a lot of the superhero books are seeing, but I think that actually does make this a little bit more stable if you're looking for a book to invest into. Another key point about this book is there's only 296 CGC graded copies. As opposed to a popular, in similarly priced Marvel book, New Mutants 98. New Mutants 98 has approximately 18,000 graded copies. 3,400 of them come in at a CGC 9.8. For the price of $1,900, I would much rather have a book like this that's a lot harder to find. EC was a master of short stories. This book includes short stories such as Monotony, Each and Every Package, Safe, and Sight Unseen. I'll give you a short overview of a couple of those stories. In each and every package, Norman and Sally conspire to kill Norman's wife so they can go off and be together in New York. Sally has undergone extensive plastic surgery and voice training so she can look and sound just like his wife. In New York, they decided to go on to a game show where they go on to win $3,000. But unbeknownst to them, they're going to get their $3,000 by it being buried in their backyard. The only problem? That's where Norman's wife was buried. From there, you'll have to read to see what happens. The next story, entitled Monotony, centers around Mr. Gans, who's called into the president of the bank's office. He's told that the bank's largest depositor wants to withdraw $50. He's tasked with going to her home with the withdrawal slip and the money so she can fill it out and he can give her the money. When he arrives, he's met inhospitably. He leaves as quickly as he can, wondering why such a terrible person has money in the first place. When he gets back, he decides to enter $500 on the deposit slip and take the other $450. He continues to do this over and over again. Can you guess where the story goes from there? You'll have to read. Well, this is it. My newest addition to my collection. What do you guys think? You like it? Are you looking for one? Please like and subscribe and comment below on my video. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.